since I've done one of these. One of my late night ramblings. This is one of my late night ramblings. Okay, so. <laughs> a lot of times I wake up in the middle of the night with ideas. <clears throat> I started this YouTube station. In fact, I started everything that I have been doing. Sort of weirdly as a sort of like this scientific vlog. So so my my um my my uh I've been this person that has been really uh, I've had these ideas in my head since I can remember. And I'm really, really, really curious about the nature of reality in particular. I didn't always know what it was that I was curious about, but now I know that it had to do with sort of theology and the nature of reality. <laughs> what are we doing here? Like, I've just been so curious about what we're doing here. And so I've been using my life as an experiment and, and and I've been chronicling it. And sometimes I have these, like, why am I doing this? Why do I do these videos? And yesterday, I had this, like, thought again. I do them because I like this. I like this. I love it. I love to think about things and to share my thoughts. Yes, I don't have a very big following. But I'm not doing this for followers. I mean, it would be really cool if something, like, blew up and, you know, there were more people that were curious about this process, but it doesn't really matter, does it? So I just keep doing what I love to do. Keep putting it out there. We'll see how this goes. But anyway, what came to mind to me in the middle of the night that inspired me to do this was... So, I had kind of known for a very, very long time that... When, when I ask, it was given every time, and I kind of had this understanding that I had everything that I, that I needed, or even wanted, but I couldn't always see it. Because what I noticed was that a lot of times I would, I would, um, I would like think, oh, I would really want that, or I need that. Say I need like a, a hair tie because a lot of times some, I want to put my hair like in a in a in a hair tie and I couldn't find one. So I'm looking in my car, frantically looking in my car, and I can't find one. And then and then three hours later, when I don't really care, I find three in my car. <laughs> I just couldn't see them. So I sort of knew this kind of thing and. I'm just sort of going on in life. I think I'm in the stream of life. I think I'm, I'm, life is happening to me. And then I start to like, like really, really analyze it. Okay, so, so I start to like analyze it and I start to like, okay, so God, you know, what do I do? What path do I take? And I started to just get this message, it's like, make up your own damn mind. And I'm like, wow, what does that mean? So I started to sort of take it that God, I call it God, the source, the source of everything that is. So I started to take it that God had given me life and trusted me with the decisions. That maybe there wasn't this separate will of God for my life. And that maybe the purpose of my life was just simply to be alive. So I've sort of been living into that. Sort of been living into that understanding. Because a lot of times I get really heavy. Instead of lightening up on things, I get really heavy. And then I just sort of conquer on and into an idea and I just kind of dig in it and and it makes things just more complicated and harder than they have to be but so okay <laughs> so in this process
process, I've been learning that I, I create my reality and that our thoughts actually turn to things. And so there are some things that I, that I, so I've been testing this. You have to understand, like, my whole life is like a test of this. I'm practicing this art. So I'm practicing, practicing, practicing. I sort of, like, I sort of, like, compare myself to a, mu a magician. I'm like a magician, and I'm practicing magic all the time because I'm, I'm attempting to turn my thoughts into things. <laughs> okay, so... I, I've shared my affinity for, like, clothing, okay? So I'm going to give you, like, this, 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 like, comparative thing. So I, there was this dress, there was this free people dress that I really wanted. And what I end up doing is I end up putting it in my, like, in my, my shopping bag. So I put my repeat people clothing into my shopping bag and I sort of wait for it to go on sale or wait for like money to come or I wait on things and this this one dress I waited too long and it was gone so I was like oh god I'm so sad about that but then and it was probably I want to say five months later that my friend and I found that dress in a store in the town I live in, we found that dress, and so I, and actually, ironically, she bought it for me, she bought that dress for me, she knew that I wanted it, and it was on sale, it was like on this huge sale, it was like half the normal price, and so she bought it for me. Okay, and then I shared with you a couple of YouTubes ago that I really wanted these boots. I wanted these boots so bad. But in that case, I put them in my shopping bag, but I just sort of, like, rammed it through. I didn't wait. I And I just got them because I loved them so much. And it's like, I'm sitting here and I'm like, wow, oh God, this is just really weird. Just hold on with me a second here. So when I first started like really practicing with this, a couple, of, it was about two and a half years ago, and I had said, okay, God, I need a sign today. I need a sign today that I cannot, I cannot, like, refute. I cannot argue with. I need a sign that I can't, that of you. And it has to do with strawberries. I really want something having to do with strawberries today. And so one of these things with manifesting or this art is that you can't really focus on it very much. It's kind of this weird balance. And so I wasn't very focused on it. And that evening, like kind of late in the evening, it was probably about 8 o'clock, I get a text from one of my best friends from California that it's this great big pot of strawberry jam she is making. <laughs> and so what ended up happening was these things started to happen faster and faster and faster and faster by my my sheer my sheer um, uh, attention to them. By my attention to them, these little things I would ask for, like, like rainbows and butterflies and um, numbers and all these really, really um, weird, strange things. It, they would happen, and and more rapidly because. I didn't see them as coincidences. I saw them as these synchronicities, these gifts from God. These little snippets saying, I love you. I just love you and I want you to have 
I want you to know I love you. There were these little love notes. <laughs> so yesterday, or the other day, when I did my, my, because I'm still getting held up on something. I'm getting held up on something because in our, in our perception, we still have this, this idea that we go to work and we get a paycheck. We, we, we still have this thought of like hard work and it reaping something. Like I have to somehow deserve this thing. And I mean, it has been so ingrained in me, this thing with money. This thing with money that rich people are bad. So I think that it is my inner dialogue somewhere still within me that, because I really believe it is much more objective in a sense than we think it is. And so you can see I'm doing this both ways. I'm doing it somehow. And then when I don't receive whatever it is that I've asked for, I take it as like a demerit. Or I take it as a withhold. That I'm doing something wrong, that I'm that I'm that I'm actually not loved. Somehow. You see, so if God if I take these these little things that, that turn to to things as love from God, then when, when it doesn't happen, I'm somehow not loved. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? But I don't, and, and I'm not really sure how it all works. This is like my next question that I'm, that I'm really thinking about is, is that, is it really that objective? Like, our bodies are so sophisticately, so sophisticated and so dependent on so much going on outside of ourselves. In the sense, or inside of ourselves, like, like us having to eat. And, like, I think about the very oxygen we breathe. And it being readily available to us at all times. And that being the love of God, like this stream of God constantly coming at us as his nurturance. And it's not based on merit. It's based on the nature of God, which is the love of God. And this is part of the reason why I get so upset when I when I see things that that it is somehow dependent on us and not on, like, our actions. Are you good enough to go to heaven? <laughs> that little pamphlet that came, I thought I saw it on my desk, and it wasn't that. Anyway, I'm going to try to go back to sleep, but I just wanted to share this. Is it, like, either it is based on grace, or it's based on merit. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's both. I don't. I, I really don't know. But I am going to be thinking about this. <laughs> I, I I cannot tell you how much I appreciate my listeners that have been with me for so long. <laughs> I appreciate you guys, and I love you very much. <laughs>